Hello, and welcome to another delightful episode of Shockin' Out Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one toy, a camera, and some talking. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, tonight, I am joined by... Toasts. And I am Mr. Berg, and we are reviewing uh, this lovely toy, which more, looks more like a, a box. Oh, there it is. What is this toy? This is NECA's The Mummy from Universal Monsters. Yes, the uncanny Karloff. Uh, so yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, NECA, along with getting American Werewolf in London and the Thing licenses, somehow got the Universal Monsters license uh, and got the rights to uh, all the actors' likenesses. Nice. So, uh, this is very clearly a Boris Karloff mummy figure. This head and face are spectacular. Yeah. I wish I had Toy of the Year Frankenstein. So anyway, uh, this is the mummy. And as usual, we start with a uh, paint and sculpt. And... Literally every nook and cranny of this guy has sculpt on it, except for his joints. Yeah. Uh, and almost everything except for his joints has washes, paints, details, craziness. It looks incredible. And the best part is. Because he's just supposed to be a dirty old mummy, doesn't, like, you can't say it has bad paint, because maybe that's what it's supposed to look like. I was going to say the best part is the hidden knees. Ah, yeah. Like, you can't even see them. That is true. It's really nice. You are obsessed with knees, like I used to be obsessed with hip joints. Yeah. Swivel thighs. It might be these elbows, though. Well. Those are going to get knocked. Yeah. So, as he is the mummy as he first appears in the movie, which I will admit, the mummy is the one of the Universal Monster movies that I have seen the least. So, uh, and if you're asking, uh, this is the colorized version, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't tell at first, because... How do you tell if that's... It's mostly black and white already? Yeah. Or grayscale? Right. And then I noticed that, oh, wait, he's got his... His hands are a darker color. Right. And that's his ring... Gold ring. And then I looked at his, some other stuff that we'll check out in a little bit and went, oh, yeah, this is clearly a color version. Idiot. Uh, and I think it looks great. It really does. Um, very, very happy, and I believe that these are bullet holes. They look like it. From when he gets shot and has no effect. Uh, I really hope they eventually do when he's in more human form, because that would be cool. I'd buy that. I doubt it, though, because they've never made a toy of that version, to my knowledge. Oh. Maybe Sideshow. I don't know. But uh, this is the look that everyone, when you think of classic mummy, this is it. And, uh, yeah, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, and I think this version would look good with your black and white or your color versions, I like. Yeah. You could fake it enough if you can't find the other one. Right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I can't imagine. He must have cost a ton of money to paint or wash or something because there's so many paint apps. Probably, I mean, just to get the just to get the the black into the bullet holes. I mean, that alone is minute detail. The rest of this is sort of grays and tans. Yeah, but there's like y a you could do that pretty easily. But yeah, it's it's multiple washes. Yeah. Yep. And then the the hands are really impressive too. Yeah. But that face just takes it. They have been doing really great monster faces. I'll give them that. And, plus, 
he did not break. Oh, that's good. Unlike some other NECA toys. I was wondering if we were going to talk about that. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Let's check out how he moves, shall we? He has the standard articulation for a NECA human figure, uh, except he has a bottom neck joint. It's sort of a sculpted neck. It reminds me of the Kickstarter spawn. But he gets neck, double neck movement. Uh, double jointed elbows, articulated wrist, diaphragm, torso, hips, knees, single jointed knees. Which is fine because they, they hide your... In and out wrists? Uh, in and out wrists, yes. Uh, and feet. But not much up. You get down and a tilt. Yeah. But he's the mummy. He pretty much just shuffles. Sure. But he does have a lot of articulation and with that neck joint you can get a lot of a lot of personality in how you put your head. The most confusing thing that I cannot figure out for the life of me. Maybe you can figure it out. So, he has the typical NECA double jointed elbows, mm -hmm. which the way they do it gives you a swivel down here and a bicep swivel at the top joint. But then he also has a top bicep swivel. Yeah. So and that's the one I noticed. I didn't notice the one just above the elbow. So you can actually get his bicep going the wrong way and still like and it's on both arms. Um normally when I've seen that happen, uh DC directed it a lot would there would be a wrist joint and a gauntlet joint. Okay. Or a forearm joint, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's like, why would you ever want that to swivel? Uh, you see it a lot on female figures in DC lines too, and like that's on that's another point of articulation. It's another two pieces. So instead of this just being one piece, you made it two. Yeah. So, uh, what the Optimist to me thinks that's for is that there will be different mummy guys with different arms, arms? Hmm. or maybe this will be another character who has wraps and then they just swap out the lower arms. I don't know. I don't know. Because um, certainly, because you can see, it doesn't line up. Yeah. Like when you're looking for it. Mm hmm So it's very odd. It is weird. And I don't remember, again, I haven't seen the movie in a long time and haven't seen a lot, but like, he goes from this to like a normal looking guy in robes. Like, he looks just like uh, a normal guy. Like, he's wearing a fez, if I remember correctly. So, I don't know why that is. And if you're going to do a single jointed knee, you could just do a single jointed elbow, and that still gives you. How, how much range does the elbow get? Most of the way? Hmm. I don't know if it's somehow... And they even covered up... Yes, that's... I'm, I'm thankful for that. But I'm wondering if it somehow... makes a less ugly joint than, say, McFarlane? I don't know. But... I don't know. It's very weird. But uh, he can get into your traditional mummy poses. And, and, I, and he stands well. And I guess technically to make Todd happy this is how your bicep would be if you're like a McFarlane toy musculature doesn't work properly 
in the shoulder joints, but this works closer to real life for the biceps. But NECA, not Todd. So, uh, I didn't mean to spend that much time on that, but it, it, like, I can't think of another NECA toy. It's a Bergian thing. It's fine. But, like, it's the same thing they could they would do with predators who are double jointed elbows, but they don't do it with predators. I don't know. So maybe you can pop his arms off in a San Diego variant and have him go out sunning. But uh, he is very articulated. And everything, all the joints are nice and tight. They don't feel like they're going to break, unlike certain other toys. And uh, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. You can see the innards there, but uh, yeah, hips hips move well too. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, as this is a, an ultimate NECA figure, he comes with some stuff, not a ton, but enough. Uh, as you may notice or remember or vaguely recall, any version of the mummy usually has tattered stuff so he comes with a just as well sculpted and painted soft plastic wrap that you can is that intended to go somewhere specific or just drape it anywhere I think it's just drape it anywhere there's maybe a picture on the box that shows around the neck well so It's the same color. It's a little bit brighter and not quite as dirty. That just looks like he was wearing a scarf when he died. All right. But he also comes with a second one of those. And it is a completely different sculpt. Okay. Um, it's a little bit darker. This one is maybe. darker. I think this one is better for going around, maybe. Yeah. I'm sure if we dug up some reference photos or looked at their promo shots, they might have something, but... It's your toy. You can do what you want. That's right. But he comes with some extra fits. I appreciate it. They're nicely done. So this is the default head with the closed eyes, closed mouth. And then he comes with this awesome head, which has... Uh, I don't know if you can see... Uh, the mouth is painted in there and his tongue and he's got some nice eyes so like when he's doing his uh, you can barely see it on camera but in person it's painted red in there and I don't know how oh okay that's how they did it yeah. so those eyes are great though the deformed mouth. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, so you can have him, I don't know if that would be his angry face or his getting ready to spit beetles if he was the Arnold Vosloo. I know this is backwards too, but it makes me think of the Night King from Game of Thrones. Sure. It has some spikes on there. And then he comes with an open eye uh, portrait which has the same closed mouth but uh, has piercing eyes might like that one the best so uh, but yeah I think it's he's even got like it's not the same sculpt like they didn't just paint eyes they actually is a second yeah. Sculpt, and he's got a more expressive brow and paint to pop it. So, you could probably buy three and have a legion of mummies. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, so, that's cool. Like those. <clears throat> and then for these kind of weak kung fu hands, uh, or at least ish, uh, he comes with. And this is what annoys me. He comes with 
two other right hands. That's interesting. No lefts? No lefts. And one is very, is more expressive, and then one is kind of just like, it's like if you're doing a stop motion, like you just switch the hands. Yeah. And then if you look at his original hand, karate chop. Right? So I would have liked a left. A left hand, or. Like these, th they aren't different enough. I can't remember who we reviewed, but it was like you could barely tell the difference between the two. It's probably one of the figure arts. Like, their their heads are almost exactly the yeah. same. So, um, and again, I haven't watched the movie enough. Maybe he does crazy hand gestures, Count Dooku style, that I just don't remember. But I would have liked. A lefty. Yeah. Um, and then probably my favorite accessory. Uh, he comes with this chest, which has some really excellently well done uh, hieroglyphs on there. There you go. Uh, in gold. And then has the little uh, stars. Yeah. Um, Anubis? Yes. God of Death, I believe. Um, but there's just little intricate gold paint on this. Doesn't open? It does open. Oh, man. And while I'm thinking of it, it closes really nice. Like, it's there's a there's a lip to it. And then, and this is why, it comes with this amazing scroll hier hieroglyph thing that is faded, and I'm sure this is right out of the movie. Looks fantastic. Uh, and it is just blank parchment on the other side, but I believe this is what tells them the curse, but hopefully someone will be on that. And <coughs> uh, as long as you're willing to fold your pieces of paper up, it doubles as a storage. So you can fit most of the stuff back in there and close it if you want. Oh, that's impressive. Um, oh, I forgot one hand. Yeah, so there you go. Well done. So it might jack up your little scroll a little bit, but it's literally a few thousand year old pieces of paper, so a little more damage ain't gonna do much. So as comparison, we have the Super, Super 7. 7, Dulce Doom. That is correct. Uh, the Captain from Marvel Legends, and Grim Knight on the end from McFarlane. Seven inch, typical ne NECA scale. They all height-wise go together again. Fossil Doom clearly looks like he's from another line. The other guys kind of, you know, work well enough for each other. I think the mummy is at a size where you could fit him into six or seven. Hmm. Boris Karloff was a tall dude. Yeah, but Marvel Legends finding a mummy still makes sense. It does. They had a living mummy. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what his name was, but I think he was just a living monk. Cool. So how much is he? <laughs> he is uh, 35, depending upon where you find him. Uh, he is the new NECA price. He's the first NECA figure where, that I had that was uh, the $5 jump. This is NECA Ultimate used to be 30 Uh Yes, and... That might be a little cheaper at Target or someplace to pay upon where you find them, but where I buy my naked toys, he was thirty-five. It it still seems like a good price. I mean, it's not uh, just looking at him. The amount of paint and sculpt that went into it, uh, and and the what is this casket trunk? Something. 
Uh, yeah. Tote. Yeah. Tote. It, uh, it's probably justified. Uh, Treasure I'm, chest. I'm not. I'm not mad at a thirty-five dollar price point. I am mad at a thirty-five dollar price point when I compare it to last year. He would have been twenty-five or twenty-eight. Sure, but thing, well, things are happening. Yes, it is the world of it is the shitty world that we live in. Right. And uh, the thing that sucks is even if things go back better and stuff they're never gonna not charge that price again like no they're they're not gonna go backwards yeah they like them profits so why the mummy ah uh, because i am a big big fan of the universal monsters i'm a big big horror fan uh and when they announced they got the universe i think i mentioned the frankenstein toy of the year that like I've, I've always been a fan and um, I have always wanted super articulated nice ones and the fact that I'm gonna get all of the classic monsters now with today's paint and today's sculpt and today's articulation I'm super excited so I while the, the mummy has never been a favorite or a, like even really on my radar like I'm not gonna not get the one guy He's a staple. Yeah, like I he, mean, everyone he, knows. Yeah, like he's. It's not. That is why. This pose. Yeah. Let's see if I can show off the box because I was gonna ask. You think they're gonna make women? Uh huh. Okay. I'll be super pissed if they don't make the Bride of Frankenstein. Well, yeah. I mean, that seems obvious, but. I mean, just this is the picture you were talking about. So, as you we were discussing, you flipped that around, and I can't guarantee it, but I bet you that pose right there is why he has double double jointed. Oh, that could be biceps. Let's see if we can get him into that. Yeah. And the sarcophagus is coming separate. Is that right? I don't know if he comes separate or what the deal is with it, I, but I've seen the pictures. I don't know if he comes with the black version, but yeah, I, it's... I thought they were doing sort of an expansion pack yeah, with, with pack. some extra stuff because the sarcophagus was shown off in the promotional pictures and people loved it. Yeah. And I think NECA just capitalized on, hey, we can make this thing. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure... Um, and. Uh, an accessory pack sort of thing is coming but uh um and and as as with the mummy if they make a van helsing or randoms like if they make the gypsy lady from the werewolf i'll buy her i don't know if anyone else would but yeah she'd fucking awesome complete the complete you know make a nice yeah display i i think it's a missed opportunity if they don't yeah like, I know Sideshow made a ton of characters when they had the license back in the early 2000s. Hmm. So. All right. Who knows? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm... I can't think of a universal guy that they would go, hey, we're going to make this. I'm like, eh. Like, oh, yeah, especially the monsters, the main guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, if they make any of the, like, crazy German guys who want to hunt down Frankenstein... Oh, Fuck yeah. And oh, and if they make a Clive Owen Dr. Frankenstein figure, done. Give me a playset, man. Fuck yeah. Give me some. I can't think of the guy's name who designed all that shit. Is Necker the one that made the Ninja Turtle Street? Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's or possible too. And the building, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I know Mezco has one for their five points of A, and that really angered me because, like, had any more articulation I would totally buy them because they look awesome but anyway we're talking about this guy I'm going to give him a 4.5 solely based on the fact that I don't have another left hand if he had another left hand or the sarcophagus 5 out of 5 uh, and I'm doing that because he comes with 
Frankenstein had pretty much the same amount of stuff, but he had five, six hands, four hands. Like he had, like this left hand. Like the two right hands are so close. Just give me a, a more expressive left hand. Yeah. And I can hear them in my head saying, "Well, if you watch the movie, he do, his left hand is always up in the." bandages and doesn't actually do anything until he's in human form so we're actually screen accurate and I can hear them saying that I can I'm like ah I'm like fine fuck you my toy 4.5 I'm very very happy he didn't break uh why do I say that because the last NECA toy his fucking knee broke out of the package. Out, pretty much, it was the last joint I moved. Oof. And it was. I didn't even. I didn't even put like. It wasn't just like a. I could. It stuck. It was just like. Like it was. It felt like it was already broke in the package, but until I moved it, like. Like it was enough of it to hold. So anyway. Uh, so I was really worried about this guy, but he's totally fine anyway uh like subscribe thanks for watching comment wave hi thumbs up please tell your friends if you got this guy can you figure out what the hell the double bicep is about do you know have, are you a fan of the money movie do you know why does this arm always just stay up like that the entire movie like he has a sling maybe uh, that's because he actually had a broken arm while filming. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm sure we've said something in this video worth commenting on, so leave us a <clears> comment. <throat> that's true. Did you know that Karloff had, uh, like, a fake cheek piece that he took out, and that's why in the original Frankenstein, his cheeks were so, so sunken in? I didn't. Yeah. I keep looking at this guy's nose. Like, just the tip of his nose is peeling. And it's an effect that I love. Yeah. Just the tip. Just the tip, baby. So, yeah. Uh, thanks to the peanut gallery for being here and uh, putting up with us. And until next time, Mr. Toast. Thanks for watching. Focus! So, uh... It's been one naked toy since our last incident. Uh, it had been two years for me since my last NECA break. I had a NECA break, but it fell three feet off a shelf. Yeah, th that's the last time I had a NECA break was when uh, my Terminator fell off a shelf and his leg broke. Yeah. Uh, I did have a McFarlane fall off a shelf and break his ankle, so... That I'll have to fix that. I've had I've had multiple McFarland. Well, maybe it's mostly Asriel, but he he fell off the shelf many times and no breaks. My my uh my last day on Earth, Batman, the uh, the um, Capullo designed. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, straight jacket, straight jacket one. I put him on the same shelf when I got him home. From where the Terminator fell. Oh no. And just like the Terminator, they both missed the carpet by inches. Oh. And somehow, Batman landed right on his ankle and it cracked the ankle joint. That's weird. Right? I would not have expected that. Uh, yeah. So, what I've learned is that I'm never putting toys. On that side of that spot. Yeah, it makes sense. Cause, and I'm I'm carpeting my basement now, with thicker carpet, by all my toy shelves. So if my toys fall off my new shelves, hopefully they won't break. Hopefully. Cause man, if you fall this way, carpet, super plush carpet. That way, sod wood floor. Hmm. Fucking. Yeah, I get, I got a lot of hardwood in my in my house. Learn my lesson.